So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to repair this, this model of a Young Living uh, diffuser. Um, what typically happens when this wears out is that you will have it full of water, and when you press the power button, the lights just flash. Um, and that indicates that the ceramic disc or the piezoelectric um, transducer is actually worn out. They're um, rated for up to 5,000 hours, and at the end of maybe a year plus, depending on how much you use it, they wear out and they fail. Um, so I'm going to show you how to um, apply this kit um, from diffuserdoc.com to replace the disc um, with a new one and get it back to, to functioning again. So I'm going to pour the water out. I'm going to remove the power cord. And at the bottom of the unit you'll see two black uh, foam pads. Um, and that's covering up the screws that you need to um, to get to to uh, remove the base. So I use a safety pin to just pull these out and we'll set them aside. And then we're going to take the screwdriver out of the kit. And the new, new part with a quick connector. And we'll uh, Remove the screws at the bottom. Set the screws aside, and we'll open it up, and we'll see a couple of wires. What we want to do is take these apart so that we can uh, so we can get to everything, and everything's marked. So we can um, when we when we put this back together. At the bottom of this board, um, we can see that this is marked. This this three-pin connector it goes to the to the button and the power indicator. Um, this one is marked fan with an F and a plus and minus. This one is the power. It says 24 volts coming in, and that's the one that we'll want to connect back up to the power coming in. So the next step is we'll need to take these four screws out to remove this board. And we'll do that with the screwdriver. Once we have the uh, board exposed, we'll see that this, this plate covers the uh, ceramic disc on the other side. Um, what we'll need to do is to remove these two screws to um, expose the disc so that we can replace it. We'll set that aside. Here's our uh, old disc. This is our new one. We'll want to take this one out by just just pressing through the, the hole on the other side. There we go. And we'll just pop it out. Now, notice that we have uh, blue and blue and yellow wires, just like on the uh, the new the new one. And what we want to do to to take this one off is just go ahead and cut these with. Um, I just have kitchen shears. Whatever you have, um, you don't need any special tools. We'll just give it a cut close to the disc and leave enough wire here for um, to work with. So let's give that a snip and take it out. 
The new disc comes with a, a quick connector that you don't need any tools to strip any wires. Um, you just need to place the wires inside these two guide holes and then press it down firmly until it snaps. So what we'll want to do is line up blue to blue, yellow to yellow, and make sure these are all the way in and they hit the back of this connector. I think you can see a little bit better in here. And then we want to Once they're in here, we want to press this down and use a pair of pliers and press down until they snap, until it snaps shut. There's a little quick and a snap. Give it a tug. I think we're good. So that's connected. We've installed the new diffuser, um, the new ceramic disc. We'll, um, Place this in the in the spot where we removed it from. Now, before we attach the base, we want to notice that there's a notch here for the wires, um, and we want to sort of line that up with the new disc and make sure the wires are in that little notch so they have some space and reattach. install this board and put the four screws back in. press this connector somewhere in here and it'll be fine. Um, now we need to reconnect the wires that we pulled off previously. We have one for the fan that goes over here on the right. And these can only go in one way. Um, the power goes over here. Another two wire connector. And then this three pin connector goes here, this plugs back in, make sure everything's in there good and tight, and we want to line the switch up, um, get these two pins lined back up with the base, and reinstall the two screws at the bottom. Insert these little foam pads if you'd like. If you want, you can leave them out. It doesn't really matter. They just make it look pretty. And let's see, we'll hook the power up to it. Fill it up with water up to the line. You would add your oils, put the lid on.